Hello, this is the Itinerant Gamer here with another Magic the Gathering Arena video. So I thought today we'd just play our way through the Festival Mastermind event and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure if I'm just going to drop one video or two videos this week. I'm actually off on vacation now, so this may not end up showing up in the week I'm recording it, but the following week I may end up deciding to take a, day, a week off. I haven't decided yet entirely, but I thought again we would go into this Mastermind event and give it a shot, see how far we can get. There's only the one deck involved, and you've got here the Mastermind emblem. So what happens is, as long as zero lands enter the battlefield under your control this turn, and it is our turn, each card in our hand has discard this card, create a colorless land token with tap, add one mana of any color. Activate this ability only any time you cast sorcery. So first or second phases of the game, main phases, main phase and second phase, second main phase of the game is when we can do it. I have never played an event like this before. You know what? We've got plenty of gems and plenty of gold. So let's spend our 2,500 gold here. Uh, so if you have a look at the deck, we're not actually going to go through it. As you can see, the deck is in fact absolutely enormous. It would take hours, and I think I'd probably bore you to death going through it. It's got every card of in every color and some multicolored gold cards too. Some really neat stuff. I've never played in an event like this. It's going to be super interesting to see just how this event plays. I said I've never tried it before. I don't know if we'll do well or not. But you know what? Let's give it a go. We'll spend some of our gold here a hard on gold and go in and see how we do. Let's see, will we get knocked out in the first game or two? Or will we win? We're against Alessio Chaos. Very cool. Hello, Alessio. All right. So it's uh, their turn. Here we are. Okay. I have my overlay on, which I don't think is going to be that useful, so I will toggle that off. It's opponent's turn now. So what card we want to discard? I think we probably want to. Let's see what we want to discard here. Something very high costed. Let's see. We probably want to get to this first. So let's look at our highest mana cost card. Now we've got party here. Got rogue. So this is all on the party format. So let's see. I think probably let's see here. Your discounts in haste. I think we we discard this card. Give ourselves that land. It's going to be super interesting to see this how this works out. I like these standard events. Let's see here, we can sort this over there. Try to tidy up our deck a little bit. Makes things a little easier to understand what our mana costs. I definitely want to keep that mana thing. What are they ditched? They're red stuff. Okay. Alrighty. So we want to get to Ouch. We want to get to a hasty creature. 
if possible. So this one might be useful later on. What about you? You're hasty, but you're at six. We have a very slow hand here. I think probably we ditch you. I think unfortunately we just got a little punished in this game by RNG. Plus our opponent went first. So we've just got to keep ditching our more expensive cards until we can get to something we can actually cast before our opponent beats us to death with a lightning stormkin. So let's see, what could we ditch here? I think probably this guy next. Oof. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So that's card draw. So let's see here. Unfortunately, that's sacrifice, so not really going to help us all that much. No creatures in our party. Well, we have no creatures in our party, so I think we discard you. Unfortunately, we're far behind on land, so on our resources and all of our spells, the only cheap spell we have is this but this is a a card a, an enchantment for a creature so not going to help us an awful lot since we can't cast any of our creatures an awful shame but uh let's see what ends up happening yeah our opponent got lucky they have a bunch of cheaper spells but they ditched that which i think is very interesting and again, they're way ahead on land compared to us. All right. Okay. So now we can cast something. Unfortunately, it's not going to do us a whole heap of a lot of good. But you know what? Let's put you down. And then let's put you on top of that. Okay. And let's see, I think second main we need to let's see here, plus one plus one counter and it has flying. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. What do we want to ditch? Probably this. Okay. And we'll end the turn right there. Okay. Hmm. I see, so you do fly. So now if they attack him with their Stormkin, it will die. Or if they attack him with Elite Guard Mage. So in reality, if they attack with both, they'll lose their Stormkin because I'll block it. Ah, yes. Okay. I don't want to sacrifice a creature. But they'll be able to pump that up next turn. And that's bad news for us. Let's see, what are we going to do here? Due to the beginning. I think what we're going to do here ourselves is ditch the village rights. Oh, that's rude. Okay. Well, if they're going to do that, then in response, I will sacrifice it and draw two cards. 
All right. That's what Vidge writes. Super handy. Fills our hand back up. Well, opponent, you don't have a timeout left. So either ditch a card or pass a turn. All righty. Not sure why that was such a tough, tough decision. We're tapped out. So that was a little interesting that they did that. Made that choice. Okay. So what are we going to do here? Okay. So we need something with flying. So I think what we do is we chuck Ah, okay, so I think we chuck let's see here. What do we throw away? I think we throw you away. And then I think we throw away we cast you. All right. Pump him up. So we want to spend our mana every turn. Unless we have an instant here. We do, but we didn't have the mana to cast it, so it didn't matter. Now it's the 3-4, which will make the Elite Guard Mage a little more difficult. For them to attack in, unless they have removal. Now something with a 4 toughness, it's going to be a little tougher. Ah! So they cast something. Allowed them to put a counter on it. See, these games are going to be quite lengthy, so I might just put the first match in this video. It's already at like roughly 12 minutes or so, so yeah, I think the first match will be the first video, second video we'll put in the second match. Yeah, it's difficult choices you got to make in this in this uh, mode. Honestly. Teju Paragon, I think, is what we cast next. Let's see, you have a discount. So I think we'll keep you. Okay. Lightning Stormkin, eh? Okay. So if I drop Lightning Stormkin, then we've got three mana, and then we could drop you, then we'll sacrifice. You, because we're definitely the control. So I think we ditch you next. We cast the Nocturnal Feeder for three. Then we just Escape Wing Spy. Okay, opponent. Killing me here. So we ditch you. And let's see here. I think we drop you, as we'll be able to gain a bit of life. No attacks, as we are indeed the control in this matchup. Then I think next turn, we maybe put the two tokens, cast this for the start part of it. 
or we drop you because we've got five six mana so we could do four this and this guy so if we drop you first we drop you then we sacrifice you generate another land i think that's going to be our best bet for our next turn Hopefully we've stalled out the board a little bit now. It certainly looks like it as our opponent is uh, hesitating. I, I'm assuming they're not drawing any removal. Either that or they've disconnected from the game. Aha! They disconnected from the game. That explains all the timeout uses earlier. Looks like we're back to being able to click continue really quickly there. So I'm not sure what happened there. They alt F forward or what? But or their game client crashed for too long. But here we go. We won our game by default. Even got through some of our daily quests even. One out of two wins. Okay. All right, well, I think it's gonna leave it for this first video. The next video will continue our journey through this event. This has been the Itinerant Gamer. I wanna thank you for watching. No matter where you're on the world, please take care and stay healthy. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. This has been Ian, the Itinerant Gamer, and thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing.